What's up everyone? My name is Marie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build. So first of all, I just want to say that I am so happy to be back. Um, I wasn't able to work on any videos or play The Sims or work on any builds whatsoever last week. I think my last upload was literally a week ago. Um, and then life just got kind of crazy with work and practice with my band and I'm also working on a play. I'm writing a play. So I needed to get stuff done for that. Like everything just all kind of came together in one week and it was really crazy. Like I had different projects going on, different deadlines and things. So it was kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, I didn't have any time last week to work on a build or upload videos except for last Monday, I think. Um, but I am back now and I'm really happy to be back in my happy place. Just sitting here talking about a build that I did that I'm actually very happy with. I really like the way that this house came out. Um, so as you can see, I'm working on a bigger house in Solani. So this is a tropical beachy family home. I think I might call it something like beach family house or family beach house. I don't know. You probably know because it's in the title by now as you're watching this. Um, but yeah, that's basically just what it is. I was in the mood to sit down and build a family home because I love those. Those are my favorite types of builds to work on. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. And I decided why not build a tropical one, which the timing of this is quite funny because we are literally in the middle of a snowstorm right now where I live. Um, I live in the Netherlands and we have some crazy, crazy winter weather going on these days. It started yesterday. It started snowing yes yesterday and it's still snowing. It snowed nonstop where I live at least. So yeah, the snow is going crazy outside and it's very, very cold as well. It's minus six or minus seven degrees Celsius. I don't know what that would be in Fahrenheit. So you might want to look that up if you're interested at all, if you're interested at all. Um, but it's very cold and this type of weather is very uncommon where I live as well. It doesn't really happen that often. I mean, of course it's winter right now, so it can get cold. It can get quite cold here in the Netherlands, but this type of weather, like this extreme cold and like snowstorm, which extreme cold, I mean, minus six, minus seven degrees Celsius. It's not that bad compared to where other people live in different places of the world. But for me, for us in this country, it's kind of crazy. Like for what we're used to, it's, it's kind of crazy. And I have to say, I'm quite enjoying it. Like the snow is super pretty. I love the way it looks. Um, I went for a walk yesterday with my boyfriend while the snowstorm was happening. So the snow was still coming down, but we were like, we have to go outside and experience this. So we went for a walk. It was quite difficult. We weren't able to stay outside for all that long, but still it was a lot of fun. And we just had some fun in the snow. But yeah, today I just decided to uh, stay inside and it's kind of crazy because um, because of the snowstorm, everything like life is kind of just canceled for today. Like you can't go anywhere by car, which I don't even have a car, so I can't go anywhere by car anyway. But I mean, all the roads are blocked. Um, I can't go anywhere by train either because the trains are down as well. Um, so yeah, life in this country is kind of canceled today which I don't really mind. Um, I did have plans for later today. I did have work in the morning, but because of the snow, I can't go anywhere, which actually is quite a relief because I really needed this. I really needed a day where, or at least an afternoon where I can just sit down and play The Sims really, or work on a video or anything Sims related because anything Sims related is just so relaxing to me. And it's definitely what I needed, especially after last week, because yeah, I don't know, like I said, last week was just kind of crazy with deadlines and projects and things and everything coming together all at once. And yeah, it was just a little bit overwhelming. I do get overwhelmed quite easily, I have to say. But yeah, last week was just kind of crazy. 
So I am very thankful that I'm sitting down building a house or at least talking about a house that I build. And after this, I think I'm going to do another voiceover for another build or I might do that tomorrow. But anyway, I am still going to play and do some actual building today as well, which I'm very excited about. Um, but yeah, I haven't said anything about the build, so let's try and do that for a second. Um, but like I said, this is a family home in Solani. And I wanted it to look as cozy and like family friendly, obviously, as possible. Um, and I just, I don't know, I, I didn't really have any sort of inspiration. I actually did have an inspiration photo for the porch where what I really liked about that was um, obviously the front porch is very big. There is a lot of outdoor space because it is in Solani, so that just made sense. But for the front porch, you can kind of see that there is that bump out bit, basically. Um, and I could turn that into a very nice like outdoor sitting area, which I was very excited about. Um, so that's what I liked for the front porch that I found um, on Pinterest. So I used that for inspiration. But the rest of the house, I just kind of made that up myself. And I really like how it turned out. It is quite spacious. I did, um, I was able to fit in three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the parents have an ensuite and then there is a, a whole bathroom upstairs as well. And then there is a half bathroom downstairs. So two and a half bathrooms, um, if you're counting correctly. But yeah, and then the rest of the house is quite spacious. Like I said, a lot of outdoor living as well, because when you live in Solani, I don't know about you, but I would be outside all the time. I don't know. I just, it's so pretty and the weather is so nice. Not all the time. The weather can get quite nasty in Solani as well. If you have seasons installed, you would know that. Um, but it's pretty much always warm. So yeah, I figured you would need a lot of outside living for this house. So that's what I did. And I also created this tiny little... I don't even know what you call what you would call it. It's just an extra little porch that you have to um, swim to be able to get there. There is a ladder going up there and I placed some lounge chairs, which I don't know how you would get the lounge chairs there, but it doesn't really matter. It's The Sims. You can do whatever you want. But I just kind of wanted to create this little, I don't know, extra little porch area where you can just swim and relax in the sun or relax in the shade, whatever you want. Um, Cause I just thought it would be fun, a fun little extra detail for the house as well. Um, but you can really see the outside of the house come together. I didn't want it to look very modern. So I actually have no clue what style of house this would be. It's unlike anything of the builds that you kind of see around Solani. Like it doesn't look like the traditional Solani style. I don't really know what that would be, but this is definitely not it. I just kind of came up with this myself. It sort of looks like a regular traditional, like colonial type house, but then like tropical, if that makes any sense. Like that's kind of the vibes that I'm getting. And I like that for a family home. Like. I don't know, I just, I wanted it to be as regular as a family home as possible, except it's in Solani. So obviously I did make some adjustments, but I don't know, I didn't want it to be too modern from the outside. I was kind of thinking that this is quite an old house that has been in the family for a couple of generations maybe. And it did get some updates, like some renovations here and there. You will see that the kitchen, for example, the kitchen appliances and just the counters and stuff, is very nice and modern and definitely recently renovated. Um, but then other, I don't know, corners of the house are a little bit older. The bathrooms are actually also quite updated as well. Um, yeah, still, I just, I wanted it to be a mixture of more renovated parts and older looking, more traditional looking parts, if that makes any sense. And I think I pulled it off, or at least, I don't know. I don't know if I did, but I, I do like the way that this house came out, actually. Um, I think it's very cozy, very family friendly. I did use the couches from Paranormal Stuff. 
I'm sorry, I know I need to take a break because I use those items ever since we got the pack. I have been overusing them, but they are just so pretty. Like, it's been a while since I've been this excited about a pack and this is only a stuff pack, so it's not even that big of an expansion pack or anything. But this stuff bag, like every single item in it is cute and I love it. And the chairs and couches are just everything that I want. So I couldn't resist. I figured, you know what? I'm just going to use the couch and the chairs in here again because it just it looked nice and I figured I should just use it. So if it's annoying to you, I'm sorry, but I use them. <laughs> I didn't repeat them, though, throughout the house. Um, so that's one thing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I was kind of struggling with the color scheme in here. I did really enjoy the darker wood tone for the flooring. And then I combined it with a very like powdery pink kind of gray tone um, paint on the walls, if that makes any sense. Or at least with my reshade, it kind of looks like a powdery pink, but also cool toned, if that makes sense. I don't know. But I just like that color. I don't really use it that often for living rooms, but I figured, you know what? I want to make it bright in here. Um, I want to make it light and bright combined with some darker, um, I don't know, some darker touches here and there. As you can see, there is that accent wall behind the couch that is very dark and kind of the same wood tone as the flooring. Um, and so yeah, I kind of wanted to mix it up with a brighter wallpaper and some brighter like blue curtains, as you can see, and also some very bright pictures. I always really like using those pictures, like those um, underwater pictures or sea life, ocean life pictures. I don't really know what you call them, but I think they're from the um, from the hidden objects menu from Solani or what's that pack called? Island Living. And I really like using them for houses in Solani, obviously, because it suits the house and it suits the surrounding area. But they're also just very bright and colorful and it's just so much fun. And here you can see I just combined two bookcases together and kind of cluttered them up. It took me a while to clutter these up. I do remember I finished this house, I think last Thursday and it's Monday right now. So I finished it on Thursday, like throughout the week, I could find an hour here and there to kind of work on this build because I didn't know that I wanted to finish it at some point, obviously, but it's a bigger build. So it took me a while. Um, but yeah, I do remember as I was sitting down, like here and there for an hour or so, I was really taking my time. Like I was taking my time cluttering up everything and just thinking about every single corner, like how I wanted it to look. And so, yeah, I took my time because it was also just kind of like for relaxing purposes throughout the week. And I don't know. It's just I enjoy this house. It's a color scheme that I have never really used before, which is something that I really like about The Sims is that it still amazes me how I still for every single build use combinations, like different combinations of items or combinations of swatches that I've never used before. Obviously, we have a lot of things in the game, like just a lot of objects in the game. So, but still, I tend to gravitate towards that one style of items that I tend to go for, if that makes sense. But still, because we have this many items and this many like combination options in the game, it still amazes me how for every single build there is something that I've never used before. A combination of items or a combination of swatches that I've never thought of using before. And I just think that is so amazing about The Sims. I just, I don't know, this is kind of a random thing to talk about, but it's just something that I really enjoy about this game. And yeah, for the living room here, I placed an extra dining table. I play tested everything, by the way. I know it looks kind of cramped, but everything is functional. I play tested everything. My Sims could sit on any of those dining chairs and they could walk around the table, no problem. Um, but yeah, that's just an extra little dining table. I also placed a dining table nearby the kitchen. So there is two dining spots that you can kind of pick from. But I was thinking I was kind of thinking that that table um, in the living room, it's not so much for eating purposes, but more so for like sitting down if you want to play a game or sitting down with, with your laptop and get some work done if you don't want to sit in the study. 
or in your bedroom, for example. So that's kind of the table that I was thinking of. We did have a table like that in the house where I grew up in. Um, we did have like that formal dining table in the living area that was never really used as a dining table, except for maybe on like Easter or Christmas. Uh, but even then, like not even always. So we did have that one dining table that was never used for dining. And I was kind of thinking that that's that table, that round dining table in the living area for this house as well. Um, yeah. Oh, I have some tea that I need to start drinking before it gets cold. Oh, it's still hot, actually, which is nice. Um, but yeah, this is the study that I am totally not saying anything about. <laughs> um, but it's it's nothing crazy. It's nothing majorly fancy or anything. I just figured that it would be a nice spot for a dedicated office area. Maybe one of the parents would need this. I cluttered it up with some books here and there and just some random little items. And here I just popped over to the living area to add some more like tiny little decorations. But here you can see that we are moving on to the kitchen and I am really enjoying the color scheme in the kitchen. I love those yellow tiles. Those tiles are from Eco Lifestyle and I don't think I've ever used that swatch before. For some reason, I keep forgetting that those tiles exist but I think they're so pretty. Like I do use them mainly in the white swatch for bathrooms quite often if I remember to, but I have definitely never used this yellow swatch and I was really, really enjoying it, especially combined with the darker flooring and the very dark counters with the black uh, countertops. And I don't know, it just looks very fancy and modern to me because like I said I did feel like this kitchen has been recently renovated and I really wanted it to look like that as well so I picked fancy like black appliances black stove black fridge and then that yellow or golden um, sink that matches the color of the tiles on the wall perfectly which was very satisfying to me and I liked that a lot it just looked so like intentional if that makes any sense like so well thought out and it just looked really fancy. So I was quite enjoying that. And as I'm using the tiles or um, the counters from Island Living, we don't have matching wool cabinets for those. And that is really annoying to me. I hate it whenever we get like new countertops and they don't give us cabinets. It's just, oh, it's just a pet peeve of mine. I do realize that it's difficult and that it's a lot of objects to create, but maybe I'd rather have no new counters at all if we're not getting matching cabinets. I don't know, it's just, it's really annoying to me. I could make it work, like I just used a couple of cabinets from Island Living, but you can see that they don't really match, like the handles on the doors and stuff, they just don't match. But it's the best I could work with, or the best I could find in my opinion at least, so it's what I went with, but it's really just a pet peeve of my like. Like I said, I would rather have no new counters at all than counters without cabinets, which is a drastic thing to say maybe because I do really love these counters and I can't go without them anymore. But like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just so annoying to get something that is that kind of feels incomplete, if that makes any sense. I mean, we did get nice shelves. Those shelves are very cool. I like them a lot and they they kind of look like cabinets in a way, but they're not cabinets. Like, it's just, you can't create a full on, like full kitchen with counters and cabinets and stuff if you don't have the cabinets. Like, it's just annoying to me. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. I could make it work. And for this house, there's a lot of windows in the kitchen anyway. So I don't have a lot of space for, for cabinets anyway. So it kind of worked out perfectly fine, to be honest, for this one. But still, I still kind of mean what I said. Um, it's kind of annoying, but the kitchen came together and I really like it. It's a very dark color scheme with some pops of color here and there. And I think it looks really, yeah, I don't know, modern and fancy. And I like it a lot. I was thinking that the parents that live here, they definitely saved up a lot of money because they really wanted a nice renovation for the kitchen. And it's what they did. And 
yeah, they made it work and it looks really cool <laughs> in my opinion. Um, but here you can see this is the extra dining table that I figured they would mostly use for dining purposes. Like if they have dinner as a family, they will just use that table. If they have dinner like Christmas dinner or Easter um, brunch or whatever, they'll use the fancy one maybe if they have family come over or something. But yeah, for just normal family dinners, they'll use the regular table in the kitchen is what I figured. Um, and here you can see that we have a half bathroom downstairs. I was thinking of including laundry for this house, but I decided against it. I don't know why. I just, I didn't really feel like including it in this build because not everyone has laundry day. So I figured, you know what? I'm just not going to include laundry. Um, it was just easier. I don't know. It's not like this is a restricted pack build by any means because I used packs, like all sorts of packs. I didn't restrict my um, pack use whatsoever. Um, but still, for some reason, I felt like I didn't want to use laundry, so I didn't. Um, but here you can see that we moved on to the second floor. And this is the parents' bedroom. I really like the parents' bedroom. It, Out of all the bedrooms, this one definitely matches the rest of the house the best, which makes sense because probably the parents picked out the rest of the house as well, like the style of the house, the furniture, the colors, everything. So it kind of makes sense that the parents' bedroom matches that taste or that style, if that makes any sense. So that's what I tried to go for and I like how it looks. Um, and the parents do actually have an ensuite. I don't think I recorded the bathrooms upstairs. I don't think I did that because this video is already so long. I already had so much footage that I decided to just not record the bathrooms upstairs. Or maybe I did record the ensuite actually. I don't remember. But anyway, the parents do have an ensuite. There is no shower in there. There is only a bathtub in there because it kind of fit one of those corner bathtubs perfectly. I'll just, I'll show you the bathrooms anyway once we hop on over into the game and I'll give you a little tour of the house in real time. Um, so I figured the parents have an ensuite but no shower. They just have a corner bathtub because it fit perfectly but it also took up most of the space in the bathroom so I didn't really have the space for a shower in there. But then there is a shower in the whole bathroom upstairs, so your Sims can just use that one or just take their time and take a bath, which also works perfectly fine in The Sims. In real life, that would be a little bit more time consuming, but in The Sims, it's fine. It still takes a little bit longer than taking a shower, I believe, but still, it's not as time consuming as it would be in real life, so that makes sense. Uh, but you can kind of see the parents' bedroom come together is actually already finished. And then the other two bedrooms are for a teenager and a child. And while I don't really have a set storyline or personalities figured out for this family, what I did figure was the teen, it's their dream to actually move to Mount Kamarebi and become a professional snowboarder. I don't know why, but I just... I really enjoyed that thought because they live in Solani, so it makes no sense. But maybe that's why, like snowboarding, snow, Mount Kamarebi, it's it's what they dream of because it's what they're like, something they're not used to at all. So I figured that the teen, they dream of moving to Mount Kamarebi one day. And maybe the family, maybe they have like family living in Mount Kamarebi and that's why they're familiar with it. But I was kind of thinking that the teen, they travel to Mount Kamarebi once every year because I figured it would be quite expensive to travel there. But they do have the opportunity to travel to Mount Kamarebi once a year and take snowboarding lessons and stuff and work on their skill. Um, and it's their dream to, once they graduate high school, they want to move to Mount Kamarebi to become either a professional snowboarder or to become a snowboarder, um, a teacher, a snowboarding teacher, or something like that. But it's their dream. Like they want to live in the snow. They want to be a professional snowboarder, which kind of makes sense because we have a snowstorm going on right now. <laughs> so I'm kind of bringing the two worlds together without knowing it when I was building this, which is actually kind of crazy. 
Now that I'm thinking about it, that is kind of scary. <laughs> Maybe I'm just going crazy. I don't know. But yeah, I just, I placed uh, a couple of those decorative snowboards on the wall. And I picked the swatches that kind of represent Solani because it's not like this team, they hate Solani. They love it here. It's their home. They love it here. But at the same time, they love Mount Kimberby. So it's just two completely different worlds that they're in love with. And I don't know, I just figured that the more tropical swatches on the snowboards on the wall would be really funny and just makes sense. Um, so that's what I did. And yeah, I also gave them a little desk where they can sit and do their homework. And I gave them a tablet because I figured they would need that for school, maybe. I don't really know. I thought that that would make sense. And just a nice little chair and the little Yamachan stickers on the wall. I thought that that was really cute. They probably put those stickers up there when they were way younger and they're kind of just still there. It's just like your typical childhood coming of age bedroom, if that makes any sense. So there are still some little, like some details from when you were a kid in that bedroom. And then this is the bedroom for the youngest child, which I figured would still be a child in The Sims as well. So I gave them a couple of toys in here. I do believe that, yeah, I actually placed a toy box downstairs as well. So the kid doesn't necessarily have to go upstairs if they want to play with toys. Um, but they do have some more toys in here. I gave them a toy box, but also a Blurfy and also a, um, a dollhouse, the cardboard dollhouse from Eco Lifestyle, which I like a lot. I think that that one is so cute. Um, so I place it in here and yeah, just a couple of extra toys. Also that one like doctor's set. I, I think that that one came with parenthood, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, this bedroom is very bright and very colorful. I used a light yellow wallpaper which I think is just so fresh and clean and crisp. And I combined it with that. What would you call that color of the curtains? Is it like a green or a blue or a very light teal? I don't really know, but I used that color and I repeated it throughout a couple of details in the room as well. Um, and then obviously the bright pink bedding on the bed. So there is a whole heap of different colors going on in this bedroom, which I kind of figured would make sense because it's a kid's bedroom. So I was just kind of going crazy using that, um, that little rug that I thought would be perfect for Solani. So yeah, I did that, but that is actually already it for the inside of the house. So I moved on to the outside and this is the upstairs balcony area. There is not a whole lot going on up here. I just placed a couch for your Sims to sit down and just relax and have the most amazing view over the ocean. Um, however, this is not like, this isn't the part of Solani, the more like central part of Solani nearby the bar and nearby um, that one beach and stuff. So it's like in that little, I don't know, I think you would call it like a more central area, which I figured, would kind of make sense for a family home because I kind of figured that the school would be kind of close to this area as well. And it's just a little bit more lively, just a little bit more in the center of the world, if that makes any sense, or in the center of the area. Um, but this is the back porch of the house. I placed a barbecue or grill um, and a dining table so your Sims can have a proper dinner outside if they wanted to and also an outdoor trash bin. And so I didn't really have a space for lounge chairs on the back porch, but I figured that's fine because I do have those lounge chairs on that one little extra porch. Like, I don't know the word for that, but you remember like the one that I built or placed down in the beginning of the video. Um, but we do have a proper outdoor living space right here on the front porch. Um, and I made it really cozy with fairy lights and stuff. And I just think that it looks very cozy. I would love to hang out here. I think that would be so fun. Mm. And I also put down some skill building items, the woodworking table, a couple of planter boxes, also an easel, I think, upstairs. 
Did I do that? I don't actually quite remember, but I did place a chess table upstairs and also a yoga mat in the on the front porch as well. Um, but yeah, that's already it for the build. Actually, I did place a swing, but let's hop on into the game and I'll show you the house in real time. So here we have the house in the game. I think it looks so cozy. I don't know. I just, I like the landscaping and everything. And I don't know how much sense it makes to have this much landscaping on the beach. I feel like I say that every time I build in Solani, but I like the way it looks. So let's have a look here on the front porch. You can see this little living area that I think would be really fun to just hang out. And a couple of skill building items right here. We have the woodworking bench and also some planter boxes and and on this side, we have a very nice spot where you can just do your morning like yoga routine. I think that that would be so much fun. And then when you walk into the house, we have this little entryway with a side table to just place down some random items and a large full length mirror. And on this side, we have the kitchen with the dining table and just the very like modernized kitchen. I really like the kitchen from this angle I think it looks really cozy and cluttered when we walk this way we enter into the living area I use the couch and the chairs from paranormal stuff pack like I said oh the easel that I talked about is right here I figured I knew that I placed down an easel somewhere I just couldn't remember where when I was doing the voiceover but I placed it actually inside which is cool so your sims can do some painting inside they can just sit down relax and watch tv there is a toy box for the kid in the house right here and an extra either dining table or just a table to sit down and read a book or work on your laptop or whatever and yeah some cluttered up bookcases and right here we have the formal study area with a computer and some books and things and this is actually the half bathroom nothing fancy but functional and yeah it makes sense then upstairs we have this landing area nothing fancy nothing functional i always struggle furnishing entryways or hallways or landing areas because it's just i never know what to put there but i just placed a bookcase up here and a decorative end table and then this is the whole bathroom that that i didn't show you in the speed build but i really like it actually because it has a step up shower as you can see i use the platform tool for that and i close it off with a glass door so that looks all very like renovated and modern and it's also functional because I play tested it and then just a sink and a toilet in here this is the parents bedroom I gave them a dresser cluttered it up a little bit and then across from the dresser they have a bed just a couple of nightstands night lights some decorative pieces on the wall a nice little couch to I don't know sit on or put your clothes on or whatever and then this is their ensuite with the corner tub that I talked about which as you can see takes up most of the space in this bathroom room is really small but I just really liked it in here I love the color of it that's actually what sold me on it so I figured you know what the parents can have that and then they have a sink on this side in that matching green color which I just think is so satisfying and then on this side we have the kids bedroom the very colorful kids bedroom with just heaps of toys everywhere just your regular kids bedroom and then here we have the teenagers bedroom who is obsessed with Mount Kamarebi and snowboarding I like this bedroom I think it's cozy I think it's fun and I would love to have this one even though I have never done any snowboarding in my life um and out here we have that balcony area with a, a chest or not a chest yes a chest table and a couch and a nice extra porch to just hang out and enjoy the sun but that is actually it for this house so the family beach home it comes in at 123,893 simoleons so it's very expensive um you might want to use money cheats for this one but you can definitely download it off the gallery if you want to my username is simmery sims as you can see but that's already going to be it for this build and for this video so i really hope that you enjoyed this video like i just said you can definitely go ahead and download it off the gallery you can also follow me on twitter and on instagram if you like my username is simmery sims please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and you're curious for more and click that little bell if you want to receive notifications of whenever I upload a new video. Uh, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!